It's a dark and depressing day for the Trojans as the Hittites march to subjugate this proud city, but luckily, I hope at least, the day is not gonna be dark and depressing for us because the Age of Bronze mod for Rome 2 is just about here, and here is your first exclusive multiplayer battle preview. I'm joined by the Mejay of Fayum, who's playing the Trojans, and I'm playing the Hittites, and first, Let's get a little slow motion here to take a look at the new amazing unit designs and just talk a little bit about what the mod does, because it's a total overhaul, as you would expect said in the Bronze Age. Essentially, from what I've been told to by the developers of the mod, it slows down the combat a lot compared to vanilla, it's not the AI, but it'll still take a while, you will feel the tactical impact of your decisions, Levy units will hold their ground quite a bit, elites will feel like gods amongst men, and fatigue and morale extremely important in the game. For example, chariots, which have been massively nerfed compared to base Rome 2 where they can just solo armies if you use them extremely well. Here, even though it's a Bronze Age game, chariots are just not broken. They're extremely squishy, you gotta be careful how you use them. And to make it even more interesting, fatigue in this game makes unit pull through Carter the more tired you get. So chariots, you really want them to be fresh. And look at all these amazing unit assets, and I know I just tuned into my levy skirmishers, but you can see the noble Hittites here. They're just amazing. Alright, so let's go on to the battle. The win condition of the Trojans, skirmish me to death with their superior archers, they have superior levies and elite javelinmen. My win condition is to crush the flanks with my heavy axemen and use my javelin spam to take out key heavy armor targets. Will that succeed? Hmm, I guess we're just gonna have to see. Chariots in this mod do not have skirmish mode. You have to manually micro everything for what it's worth. It might be annoying to some people, might not, but you know, you get what you get. And balance is something that is always subject to feedback and subject to change. We got some skirmishing going on between the chariots. And as we know in Rome 2, the chariot that runs away is the one that wins a missile fight due to the way combat works. I'm just trying to bait his chariots to go deeper, closer to my line. Meanwhile, at the same time, I'm using my heavy Hittite chariots to go over his right flank and try to... Well, his left flank, my right flank, to try and overwhelm him. Will it succeed? Well, time will tell. But his chariots are getting dangerously close to mine. They're starting to pull back a little bit. We're just having a little bit of a skirmish here. Nothing phenomenal, but it is a prelude to the battle. Something will definitely happen because of this. My guys are trying to feign a charge, then they're retreating. I'm just trying to get his chariots once again closer to mine. Meanwhile, the infantry lines are getting closer and closer, and we are extremely evenly matched on the infantry front. Our mid-tiers are the same quality, but his levies are superior, though. The Hittite elites? That's a story for another time. And speaking of the Hittite elites, I think you can see how insane the Axemen are. So Magi slips up a little bit with his micro here. His chariots are just standing still. I see this opportunity and I get a beautiful charge off with my chariots into his, but because of Rome too, you don't really get to see cool chariot combat. They're just standing there awkwardly. The infantry lines are moving to clash on the other flank. My Hittite chariots are also trying to overwhelm and at the same time I'm bringing in my extremely heavy Hittite Axemen to assist. When these guys connect with something they're just gonna chop it to pieces and let me tell you something, chopping to pieces in this mod it does look satisfying but it still takes time. Units are not gonna instantly break just because they've been collab flanked, you know, it's not just gonna instantly crumble. The chariots are just getting butchered here, as you can see, and just in time for the infantry lines to clash, and we can see Anatolian Noble fighting Anatolian Noble. Luvian versus Luvian relative. Just another day in Bronze Age Anatolia, basically. And look at the unit models, they are just beautifully done. At the same time, let's go slow motion and let's go tactical. So, 
My chariots managed to actually do what I planned, and they ended up behind Magi's lines. And they're into the skirmishers. These Anatolian bowmen are not gonna have a good day. But at the same time, I am not having a good day. So here's the deal. We're using gentlemen's rules, right? So we're not aggressively pulling through units with chariots. And chariots have been nerfed in the mods, so... Let me put it this way. Connecting into the backline just to take out skirmishers? It's not working out well. This is a monstrous waste of Hittite chariots. They were fatigued before the impact. It's not gonna do much. If anything, it's just gonna hurt me more than it hurt Magi here taking out a bunch of low-level archers. Machete Swordsman managed to catch one of his Anatolian bowmen off guard though, and they are going to get hacked to bits. Meanwhile, the levies can hold forever, basically. The levies can easily just tank the battle out, assist the noble swords, fight amongst each other. Morale fluctuates, but it's not like a massive drop in morale in the mod unless you are crazily outnumbered. And let's go here now. I'm actually managing to get a beautiful charge off into the flanks because I collapsed the chariots. Feels good, man. Feels good. So, look, look at this. Trojan warriors are essentially like low tier, low mid tier units. They're pretty nice to actually have in your army. And they just got head on charged by the elite of the Hittite elite. They're still not breaking. They're still fighting. So, this is just an example of the way the mod does things. And as always, balance is subject to change. And speaking of balance, here we go. Another charge by the Hittite Armored Axemen, and they're going into the rear as soon as they decide what they're doing. Yep, here we go, perfect time, there they go. They get a beautiful charge, even better than the last one. And heads are gonna start to fly now, as you see there are already animations, blood is being spilt. The Hittites are trying to assert their dominance, and is it working? Absolutely, you can bet your ass it's working, it's just gonna take a while because the grind set in this mod... Whew, it does take a while. Meanwhile, one of my win conditions. The basic dirt cheap Hittite Javelin men. They're just firing away at the general unit, the Trojan Noble Spearmen, trying to weaken them, and you can see they're looking like porcupines at this point. They're just full of sharp needles. But here is where it gets really tricky for me. So Medjay's no Anatolian chariots. They managed to just go into my skirmisher line and start causing havoc. I left a flank unprotected because I was banking on collapsing the other flank. I misused my chariots on the right. And now this is essentially biting me in the ass. Or should I say it? it's essentially charging me where it shouldn't charge me. And yeah, my skirmishers are not going to have a good day on their own. But they're starting to turn now. And we're going to see some of them attack the... Chariots. The melee fight is pretty even. So, levies are still fighting noble swords, and noble swords here are pretty, pretty damn good unit. They're not instantly breaking. As I said before, you might see them die, you will definitely have casualties, but they are just... It's not like, let's just say as an example, Eastern Spearmen and Vanilla Rome versus Evocati cohort. They won't shatter in just a few seconds. Combat will take time. And speaking of time, my machete swordsmen have essentially taken on four units alone on the flank. That's how elite they get. And speaking of elites, the Hittite Heavy Axemen have just had enough of the Trojans. They want to get them off the battlefield. They want to put them in chains and subjugate the city. And we get a beautiful charge into the elite spears. Now, the mod, as I said, balance subject to change. Spearmen do hold like gods, but the one thing that is consistent in life, besides some things I'm not gonna mention publicly, it's shock units destroying spearmen when they get a good charge off. And here, as bravely as they're fighting, the Trojan nobles are unfortunately not gonna be a match for the sons of the Hatti. So, let's go back to slow mo for a second and let's look at tactical. Chariots were both essentially ruined on the chariot front. I've got none left. His chariots are routing. The infantry lines, they're still holding in the middle, though morale penalties are happening. I'm getting a little pushed in here, so I'm using my out-of-ammo javelin men to start to bog down the Trojan axemen and nobles, while the machete are just 
grinding it out like maniacs. Look at those beautiful assets, though. It's still... there's still gonna be a little bit more tweaking to this done. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some assets have actually been exported from Troy. As you can see, the Anatolians do have Trojan faces, like from the Total War Saga. And some other assets, so it's in hairstyles, it's nice, and a lot of the assets are custom made, I believe, by Benjen. A lot of the armors and everything, it is an insane amount of work put into this mod, and trust me, if you're a fan of total overhauls, you are gonna enjoy it. Meanwhile, the machete, totally covered in blood, standing their ground for the Hittite royal court. The battle is seemingly looking in my favor. The flanks are completely collapsed here, like the Axemen could probably just take out the army alone if they wanted to. Magi goes into shield wall, he is buying time for his army. My Axemen are getting another rear charge off here, however. This might actually just spell the doom of the Trojans. It is an overhaul mod, it does take a long ass time to fight battles. You will feel the impact though, and these guys are definitely gonna feel it when they get charged by this. Just look. The brutality of war. Yeah, this is basically the turning point for them. More, Their morale can't handle it anymore, they're just getting chopped to bits, and it doesn't matter how wealthy or skilled they are, even the general is deciding, you know what, I've had enough of this Hittite bullshit, I'm just gonna run away. They're getting cleaved, and the Hittites look like they're carrying this day off. Well, even though it's a storm, they are it's perfect actually for them. They're dedicating this to Tarhuna, the Hittite Thunder God, so... Storm God. Yeah, there we go. Looks like a victory for the Hittites. And now, let's take a little tactical recap just to look at the crucial moments of the battle before we get to the end screen. The Trojan chariots getting caught and chopped to bits by Axemen was extremely important as this allowed me complete control of the left flank and it allowed the Axemen to dictate the pace of the battle. Focusing my heavy chariots on just straight up gunning for the enemy's backline, it was a good idea on paper, but in practice it just ended up being swarmed by infantry and just a waste of a key element of my army. Having one of my win conditions, dirt cheap javelins, exposed like that was extremely risky and it didn't look good for me, although they managed to turn around and actually route the chariots with fire. At the end of the day, cycle charging with shock heavy axe units, it never goes wrong. And there you have it, that was your first official multiplayer battle preview for Age of Bronze, I hope you enjoyed it, even though it did focus a lot on the multiplayer aspect, the tactics and everything, the view, we still managed to get some units zoomed in and see, and don't worry if you just want to see how cool the units look, there will be videos showing the newest version soon, don't worry about that. The release is extremely close, you can basically feel it, and trust me, you're actually gonna be surprised at the announcement. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, the link to Mejai's channel is gonna be in the description, and well, until the next multiplayer battle.